Hello and welcome to Real Science for Kids. The videos in this series are the advanced experiments for pre-level 1 chemistry. The title of this experiment is What is it made of? Have fun discovering real science with Rebecca. Hi, I'm Dr. Rebecca Keller. In these videos we're going to be exploring the Real Science for Kids experiments. For each experiment I'm going to introduce the experiment and then we're going to ask the question, what happens if? Real science is about experimenting and exploring and observing and tinkering and experimenting some more. Often in science class, you're told to do a science experiment. But the science experiment is often like a recipe. Add A to B and you'll get C. But that's not very interesting. But real science rarely works that way. Real science is about working at the edge of what we do know to find out what we don't know. Real science is about asking the question, what happens if? Pre-level 1 chemistry experiment 1 is about finding out what things are made of. In your laboratory notebook, you're asked to record what a cracker looks like, or a marshmallow, or even a colored candy. You're asked to make a good observation and record what you see. I have some crackers here, and I can look at them, and I can draw them, and I can even examine them with my magnifying glass. But what happens if I look at something that I've never seen before? Let's give it a try. Well, let's take a look at something I've never seen before. Well, I've never seen one of these. I actually picked this up at a local store this morning, and it's called a bitter melon. But to me, it looks more like a cucumber, except that the outside is a lot more rough than a cucumber. It's a little bit different color and it's a lot lighter than a cucumber. So I wonder what's inside. Should we take a look? Okay, let's open it up. But before we open it up, let's think about what might be inside. Mm, is it going to be white or, or green? I'm going to go for white. Okay, ready? Wow, it's actually very different than I thought it was going to be. It's got some of these huge seeds. It's got major huge seeds. The outside rim is a lot darker and a lot thicker than I thought it was going to be. And the inside is white, but it's not at all like a cucumber. It's more like the texture of a pumpkin. Fascinating. If we cut it the lengthwise, we could probably see more of those seeds. You can see how the seeds are arranged. They have these little pods, and then the seeds are actually inside these little pods. So let's take a closer look at this using a magnifying glass. With a magnifying glass, we can see a lot more detail. Wow, the white part looks a little bit like cotton. So let's take a look at this. This is a cherry moya that I picked up in the local grocery store. And I've never seen anything like it before. I don't know what it is exactly, whether it's a fruit or a vegetable. In fact, it looks a little bit like a pine cone. So I'm going to guess that it might be something like a fruit. It's got these very rough edges on the outside. And these little leaf-like indentions here. So, and it's pretty heavy. It almost looks like a beet in its shape and its color, but it's clearly not a beet. It doesn't have anything that looks like a root, so I'm going to say it's not a beet. But let's take a look inside. I'm going to guess that it's likely brown or red inside. That's going to be my guess. What do you think? Let's take the big knife, slice it in half, Oh my goodness, it's not anything like I thought it was going to be. It's very interesting inside. It's fleshy, like it's white, and it's got this brown root in the middle, and it's got a few seeds, so this is definitely a fruit of some kind because it has seeds in it, and <clears throat> it doesn't have any seed um, pods like the last thing we looked at. Uh, the white fleshy part looks a little bit like a coconut. 
in fact. Let's see if I cut it one more time. Ooh, it's got more seeds. Very interesting. Very different than I thought it was going to look like. So let's see what it looks like with a magnifying glass. If I look at it with a magnifying glass, I can see that the white part is kind of shiny. So it's got some moisture in it, some water. The seeds are pretty brown. And for the grand finale, let's take a look at this. This is a durian, and I picked it up today at the local grocery store. And when I saw this, I just had to have it. I have no idea what it is. I don't know if it's a fruit or a vegetable, but it looked pretty interesting. It's got all these really sharp spikes on the outside, so I'm going to put it down because it's difficult to hold. And you can see it's got these very sharp spikes all over. So it looks like a pineapple, but it's not a pineapple. So let's take a look inside. I'm going to take my knife and I'm going to try to cut the outside of this. And it's really tough. I don't know that I can do it. It doesn't want to cut. So maybe I need to take my hatchet and just give it a good whack. Ready? Oh my goodness, it's really tough. Ugh. Oh, it's really weird too. Look at what's inside of this thing. And I have to admit, it's very stinky. Oh my goodness, it's got a big smell to it. It's really tough to open. And oh, it's got a lot of, it's got a very strong smell. Oh my goodness. Oh, the smell is kind of overwhelming and it's very wet and fleshy inside. Oh my goodness, wow, this is really fascinating. It's got like a big seed. Oh, I scoop that out. It's got like a big seed. I don't know what you would do with this. Oh my goodness, and it looks like it's got seeds inside here. So here's some seeds inside of this thing, this durian. I'm going to have to get my hands wet. But you can see it's got this big seed on the inside. And its seed is wrapped around this really fleshy, soft, squishy, yellow stuff. So that's what's on the inside of this durian. I bet this has another seed in it. It's on the inside. And yes, there it is. There's a seed on the inside of the durian. There it is, it's wrapped around this white fleshy, kind of yellow white fleshy stuff. Let's see if that's what happens all the way through it. If I can just rip it open. Oh, really tough to open. Oh goodness, yep, that's what's inside. A bunch of these seeds. Okay, well I think that's it for this experiment. That's what happens when you ask what if. I'm going to have to wrap this up and take it outside because the smell is quite strong. Well, despite the odor, I had lots of fun with this. Thanks for discovering real science with me. I'll see you next time. Discovering Real Science with Rebecca is presented by Gravitas Publications Incorporated in collaboration with Burt Johnson Video Productions. Visit us at webbizvideos.com. And hey, we aren't finished yet. But real science rarely works that way. Wait, uh, rolling, rolling, rolling. It helps me to just sort of, you know, talk a little bit before I just say, <laughs> Okay, wait. I'm going to get this. Just don't turn it off. Okay, better now? Yes. Can I go now? Can I really go now? You can go now. Can I say blah, blah, blah? <laughs> it's kind of like a pumpkin. No, not a pumpkin. A pineapple. This is so hard. Ah. <sighs> Yay, yay. Okay, now we're finished.